Welcome to the first edition of the Weekend Red Zone, a new segment on the Clan Athletics Network. This week we check in with the men's football team as they open their training camp, while Rebecca Johnstone catches up with the women's soccer team as they close the preseason. It's been an off-season of change for the Clan football team. A new head coach and 60 new recruits mean a lot of introductions during fall training camp. But there is a definite enthusiasm as near 100 student athletes take to the practice field. So we were hitting the grind again for another couple of weeks. Uh, obviously, body gets a little bit sore, but as we treat it well, then it's all good. But uh, being with new coach and stuff, you got the new playbook. So it's, uh, we're hitting the books. It's almost as if we have exams coming up. So it's on. So it's pretty much uh, it's all it's a lot of studying and getting to know the playbook and stuff like that. So it's uh, a lot of work. Yeah, it, it is exciting. And uh, with, with so many new guys, we've got more new guys than we have returning guys. So uh, yesterday was really, uh, we spent a lot of time teaching guys how we practice. The, the pace of the practice, the uh, speed in between drills, and uh, you know, it was a good learning day, but the biggest thing we learned was just introduction to how we're going to do things. But it's been over two years since the clan last won a football game, and that fact is not lost on many of the veteran SFU players. Well, I think we're extremely focused. I think a lot, of, a lot of the returning guys out here are really looking for that first one, and we can see with the new coaching staff that they're really committed to getting us to that point, and we're not looking for just one. We're looking for playoffs this year, so that's our goal, and so we're all focused on our goal. New head coach Dave Johnson has set the tone for practice early. He also has brought in 17 assistant coaches to help analyze and assess the near 100 players in camp. Every step a guy takes should be watched. Uh, we cannot afford, the term we're using is error detection and correction. And we don't want to have to wait to go watch video to tell a kid, oh, by the way, you stepped with the wrong foot. Uh, my goal is for every time a kid takes a rep, for someone to be watching and evaluating that, you know, it, it, what he's doing. With only quarterback Jason Marshall assured a starting spot, the large incoming class knows that the competition is on for positioning on the depth chart, while the veterans welcome the additional support the new recruits bring. Uh, well, it's it's like that week to week, right? If you don't do your job and you don't perform in practice week to week, I mean, every week uh, you're you're uh, competing for a job, so um, it's it's regular for me. You know, He's, I've played football for years, so the week to week you just uh, keep going, compete, trying to get your spot. Oh, the new guys are definitely going to help out. Like, I mean, last year coming in, we had I don't even know how many backups we had, but this year we have like enough to run four teams, full teams of defense. So, it, the no matter what, they even help just because of reps. But there's lots of talented players that are coming in, so it's pretty good. One of the highlights of training camp this year will be an alumni scrimmage scheduled for the afternoon of August 25th. Recent clan alum Tim Smith, who is also a new assistant coach, will be one of the notable alumni participating in that game. Yeah, that's uh, that's the first time I heard that we've ever done this before. And that should be a lot of fun. There's a lot of guys coming out from all over the province. I think there's even guys coming from other places in the country uh, just to play in this game. I mean, it's it's pretty much the same as uh, you know a controlled team scrimmage, uh, but you got these old guys. They've probably got a little something to prove, so it should be a lot of fun. These 14 days of two-a-day practices, of course, leading up to the 2007 CIS regular season. The clan kick off against Calgary on August 31st. That game set for 7 p.m. at Swan Guard. While football is just starting up, men's and women's soccer is well on their way. The women's team played their final preseason game on Saturday afternoon, and Rebecca Johnston was there. A final chance to iron out some of the wrinkles as the team faced off against Western Washington. Haley Rawlings scored for the clan. However, it wasn't enough. The team fell 2-1 against the Vikings. Team captain Jacqueline Gantz says that while SFU has played better throughout the preseason, there is still room for improvement. We've moved the ball around a lot better. Got to be pleased with that. But we still have to make sure those goals at the end aren't going in the net. We have to hold the tie or get ahead. The preseason is also a chance for rookies to get playing time and experience, which will pay off later in the year. From the beginning, everyone was really welcoming and everything, and on the field, we're really starting to get the system together, and they're really good at telling the newcomers where we're supposed to go and everything, and the talk is really good. So now, I think most of the freshmen, we know what we're doing, so it's good. This concludes the preseason for the SFU women's soccer team. Regular season action begins this Wednesday against the Vikes in Victoria. For the Clan Athletics Network, I'm Rebecca Johnstone.